What's up? This is Square2448 with a Farming Simulator 17 video, and today we'll be moving across the street to the new tow shop since we did outgrow our last one. So let's hop in the Chevy Supervisor truck and let's make our way over to the new shop. And I'm very excited to be doing this move. A lot of you have asked me to build a new shop and it is time. We built one yesterday and I'm very excited to move all of our new trucks and everything like that in. So we are heading over there in the supervisor truck. And it is very convenient now because the shop is just across the street which means we won't really be changing our location too much just across which definitely is going to be very nice. So as you guys can see, as you come over here, our shop is to the right, but our new one is to the left. Take a look at this. This shop is very large, a very large tow lot, everything like that. So I think we'll leave this truck right here, and I think we'll get started by moving the heavy wreckers over here first. Now we have two garage doors just for those heavy wreckers. That way there's a lot of room, and then we actually have a very large area over here where we'll be putting the rollbacks in the smaller tow trucks. So I think we'll start off by, I think, hopping in the uh, Peterboat over there. And it looks like we do have the garage door open. Not exactly sure why it's kind of left open, but we'll open up this door and take a look at this, guys. This is one nice Kenworth. So we'll start this up. And I think that uh, we'll kind of back all these trucks in very nicely because I always like a nice organized shop. So I think we'll just kind of pull in and since we will be using this a little bit more, it will definitely be easier backing in to uh, the, the one further away from the fence. But as you guys can see, this shop is very large, giving us a lot of room. As you guys can see, uh, you can almost fit like another tow truck in here. So that's really good. We could have possibly add in more since we will definitely be getting a lot more tow trucks and stuff like that. But let's hop in the old Kenworth and I think we'll park this in the other one. Now this truck is still under work, a lot of things still need to be completed on this, and uh, a lot of things, but it is still a work in progress, and it is a nice truck. And I believe that we'll just sell this shop and give it to the uh, company to kind of tear down, but if you do have any cool ideas for it, let me know down below, and I will gladly take a look. So I think it will be pretty nice to see if we get back this in in first person view, not exactly sure if that's really going to be possible but it looks like we are already just going to just scrape the fence and uh, not really wanting to damage this truck so we'll just kind of back in awesome so these kind of park in here very well and I kind of like leaving a little bit of room in head just in case we need to squeeze another vehicle but let's kind of walk through here this is like a mini door but a very large one so I think we'll kind of put all the tow uh, vehicles to the front of this shop and then the other ones towards the back so let's open up this very large door as you guys can see this one definitely does open I believe if not looks like it does guys take a look at that very excited that this does it is one large door so that's going to be good there and we definitely need to add in some larger gates the ones that we currently have are not uh, large enough for us, so uh, definitely will be looking into that so I think we'll get started off by moving the uh, Ford F550 first and stuff like that. So let's kind of cross the street, make sure no traffic is here. And I think we'll just open up this door. Now this current shop that we have does have an office, but the new one does not. So I think we might have to look into building an office area in one of the corners, which is pretty easy to do. So let me know down below in the comments if you guys would like me to do that kind of pull in here and take a look at how wide this is you can almost fit two trucks wide through this door which is very hopeful and we might need to push back the fence a little up here but I think though that we could probably fit all the tow trucks here which will be really nice that way we could do uh, stuff in the back and probably install like a car lift something cool like that just kind of reposition here it looks like we'll be able to fit all these trucks towards the front which is nice, so I think we'll just back it up. I think that's going to be good right there. Awesome, I do like a nice organized shop, and I really do enjoy doing all these cool shop videos from construction to landscaping to towing, so these are a lot of fun, and let me know down below. And as you guys can see, this gate is not large enough for us, so I think we will have to kind of figure out a new gate for us, since I would like a nice working gate. We'll uh, pull out here in the ramp, 5,500. And this is awesome though, I do like it across the street and a lot of you guys 
also did request me to do one ride across the street. So let me know if you guys would like me to do a truck show. I think that would be very cool to do one. Kind of back in here. We definitely need to leave some room. And we have a lot of room in here. So not really going to be the best idea. Kind of squeeze these trucks together. Definitely leaving some room. How we have it kind of like that will be nice. And I think what we'll do is we'll put the ram right next to it. And then the uh, other one will kind of go over there. So let's hop in the ram. And I believe that that is first in this garage. Which is going to be nice if it is. And we do have a few vehicles out back. Including that trailer. Which I think will definitely move. But uh, we'll hop in this. And like I was saying guys. We'll probably be adding a lift. A few lifts in the back of the shop. And I do know that there's a few working car lifts in this game. So I would definitely see where I could get those and possibly add those. But this is really nice having all that open room in the back. That way we could easily work on stuff and almost just took out the truck right there. Awesome. So we got that all in place. So I think we'll walk back here and get the last tow truck of them all. But I do think that we do need to add our custom company logos to all of these shops. So I think we'll be doing that very soon. We'll hop in the Chevy Duramax, and this is one nice truck. It is a very expensive Duramax because it's the new engine, but definitely one nice uh, small wrecker, which is nice for the uh, medium size to small vehicles that we do tow. Awesome, so it looks like we got all those vehicles in. Take a look at that, guys. This is one incredible shop to have this much space. And then look at all this back here, which will be nice. We'll probably add like a car lift, like one, and then one. Probably a lot of cool things like that, just to kind of have. But I think we'll definitely kind of start to close these doors since our shop is air conditioned. We definitely do not want it going out. So we'll definitely start to close these up just so that they are uh, definitely not letting in any of the warm air. Since summer is just around the corner, it's going to be some very warm days. So I think we'll close up all these doors. And uh, this will be the last time we are closing all of these up, which is uh, very uh, exciting, if you would say. Sometimes it's not the best, but for us now, getting a very nice shop is definitely very nice. So I think we might even have to add like a tool section, but we'll definitely open up this gate. Now I'm thinking that we could possibly see if we could extend this gate, make it very large. I think that will be very nice, but take a look out back here we have this Ford and does this have a hitch on the back let's take a look looks like it does so we'll definitely use this to to move that trailer so we'll hop in this and this is one nice uh utility truck one nice one and I really do like this one and the link to this one is going to be in the description I'll have the links to all the public mods down below so we'll definitely kind of back up here Definitely a lot easier when you look out the mirrors, but I'm not sure if this truck has mirrors that work, and they do not. So we'll back up here and hop out. In this tow trailer, I did get a few requests on why it is so wide. Kind of make it narrow, but this is really wide, so you could park a truck up in here. Since this is a car trailer, it has to be wide enough to fit one. So that is kind of why that is so large, but definitely is not realistic trying to fit through the small gate. As you guys can see, it just barely fits, and I think, though, we'll probably park this trailer out in the back of the uh, shop. I think that's going to be a lot easier, especially since we do have room, leaving it outside I don't, don't think will be a good idea. So we're definitely kind of back in here. This is actually a pretty large trailer for the roads, and it is a little challenging, but I think, though, that it is still one nice uh, trailer that we could definitely use. And I think we'll park this right next to it, and I think, though, that we'll probably just leave this door right here kind of open so that we could drive anything down in the back here. But if you guys really do enjoy these shop videos, let me know down below. And if you do have any cool video ideas for any new ones, I'm always open because I really just enjoy uh, making videos that all of you enjoy. And I would like to thank you all for the continued support on all the daily content. Because farming sim is definitely a lot of fun. So we would definitely start up this forklift. And as you guys can see, this one, you could actually move these in. And when they are actually together, you could e even uh, definitely... Looks like this thing also slides. Very interesting. 
So you can have it slide to one side. That's awesome how you could do all that. But I think we'll pull this out and then we'll definitely lock up this shop and wait for a buyer or we'll just use it for another shop. We'll keep that. Looks like the engine was on very high idle. Very interesting how it kind of does that. But we'll lower this gate for the last time. And as you guys can see, I think we'll probably have that car lift come over to the new one since they're definitely very expensive. But we'll definitely pull this in and I think we'll leave the supervisor truck here today since we do have a few more things we need to get done. And this is one fast forklift. So I think we're going to really kind of park it over here, not really block any vehicles in. And we'll be using this probably to pick up vehicles if they kind of do get in the way. Or even stack wrecked ones up onto a trailer. Something cool like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of setting up the new tow shop. We got everything in here and definitely a lot of room. So let me know, should we add some toolboxes, a uh, tool bench, and some car lifts? Let me know down below your thoughts. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.